Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Cross and I am here with Dixie and Alyn Forsyth for a feminine moment. And we are going to answer a question that was posted on the group earlier in the week or maybe over the weekend about intimacy and sort of when to take things to the next level mm -hmm. in, in relation to what fascinating womanhood says about it uh, uh, regarding kissing, dating, and the like. <laughs> and more <laughs> and more <laughs> yeah yeah well Except when i first read that i read that question i thought the kissing part i thought i thought i took that out of vintage back fg maybe i didn't i i did I edited three books last year including yeah. right my own and i just thought uh anyway everybody out there needs to know that my mother did not kiss my dad till they were married mm -hmm. till their wedding day and I didn't do that. I, I wasn't able to do that, but um, we that's all we did. And uh, I think it depends on, kissing isn't always just kissing. Sometimes it can really escalate. And, yeah. uh, you know, then there's making out, and then there's petting, and there's all this stuff. And we know what it leads to. <clears throat> and some people kind of think that if they are not religious, then it doesn't really apply to them, but it's not really true. The reason, the reason that we do this is this is a sex before marriage mm -hmm. is high risk behavior, and you might get away with it. Some do, uh, but then again, you might not. The statistics are actually against you. Yeah, and so, and also, what, what we learn is it's an incredible rap filter. And I get a lot of questions about how can I tell whether this is really a good guy, mm -hmm. you know, because when you're first dating somebody, of course they're going to be on their best behavior. Or we all are. But if you, if it's a fantastic test, if he, if he will dump you, if you don't sleep with him, that's a pretty good thing to know. Yes. And, and um, when the thing is when women, have sex, their body produces a chemical called oxytocin. It's a very pleasurable chemical and it's very bonding. Men produce it too, but they also produce a whole lot of testosterone, which tends to block the oxytocin. So they don't get as bonded as quickly as women do on, on generally. And we're not sorry, there's billions of people on this planet, so it's not every single person ever born. Right. But overall, that is true. So women risk uh, what they find is women uh, usually associate sex with romance, with love. Sometimes men just want sex. They've got some of them pretty powerful sex drives, which they can't help. It's just part of being male. Sometimes women do, but again, we're talking about the norm. And uh, and so when we when we do that, we tend to invest. We've invested in it, mm -hmm. and we may not have had any intention of necessarily wanting to marry you when he sleeps with you. Yeah. The risk is um, you risk having your heart broken. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you slept with him and then he leaves you, it's way more painful than if you haven't. And, and so, or maybe you get pregnant accidentally. Yeah, or sexually transmitted diseases, or uh, maybe you find out he's already married or with somebody. But there's all kinds of things. And, um, and, but some of the guys that you don't want to end up with, a lot of those guys will not date you again if you don't do that. Mm -hmm. And you would, you know. So a perfect rat filter, number one. If so, Well, and the other thing is women are the gatekeepers of civilization. We're also the gatekeepers of procreation, mm -hmm. which is part of civilization. In other words, when uh, there's a study done, I can't remember who did it, I recently read about it. They went on college campuses and they got some girls to agree to, uh, they went around campus and they timed how long it would take to get a guy they didn't know to agree to have sex with them. Just wow. go up to somebody cold. Do you know what the average was? I have no idea. 30, 30 seconds. You'll, yeah. 30 wow. seconds. This is somebody you don't know. And so then they tried the reverse. Men asking women. It didn't go very well. I don't remember what the outcome, but if women don't, aren't as into having random sex with complete strangers. Um, we're the ones who become pregnant. 
And if you do, it's, it's sort of like you don't necessarily think about it, but um, consciously, but it's part of our natures. If, if women get pregnant randomly and accidentally, we have a lot more to deal about with than men do. They can <laughs> run away. And sometimes you can't even find them. Yep. And a lot of men don't even have any consequences for it at all for various reasons. So partly because we're the gatekeepers, we're also the original adults in a relationship, partly because of our position of being the mothers of this planet. Mm -hmm. So when, you know, in caring for our relationships, we want to have the best relationships we can. We want to have stable families. Mm -hmm. and you, you can do that and you might get away with it. Yeah. But if you actually looked at the statistics, it would be probably kind of frightening. Yeah. So high risk behavior. Yeah. And it's dangerous emotionally. You mm -hmm. risk. You might, and like I said, you might get by with it. Say, hey, work for me. But it's like a patient Bob had years ago that told him once when he got really drunk and then he drove down the main, one of the main streets in town, 100 miles an hour at midnight, holding, bragging, he held on with one finger on the steering wheel. He didn't die. Nothing happened. But everybody would agree that was pretty high risk. It's not safe. He'd yeah. say, well, nothing happened. It's still a reasonable person would say, yeah, but that's still kind of dumb. This yeah. isn't, you know, and I'm not saying you're dumb no. if you do that, but you need to understand this isn't just about religion. And people who are religious say, well, the reason God said not to is because he's trying to protect us from all these things that we're now stating just as a matter of logic. And mm -hmm. so, well, you. yeah, yeah, that was so, just, thank you for answering that. And uh, you've made the position very clear with fascinating womanhood. It's not really about um, any sort of religious, you not know, really. no, it's, it's um, about protecting your heart and, and the, the woman from heartbreak Pregnancy, sexually transmitted disease. Weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> Bad mean, situations. There's a lot of really great guys, but the, the not so great ones are lumped in there too. And mm -hmm. this is this is a real basic rap filter. There's a bunch of other things in the rap filter too, but this is really basic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great, great topic. Keep them coming, everybody who's watching. Yeah. We love answering your questions. Take care. Bye-bye, Dixie. Care. I'll talk to you Bye -bye. soon. Bye-bye.